With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here is our question. Potential difference across AB in the net bag shown in figure. So here, we have to find the potential difference across this point A and this point B. Okay, now let us take the potential at point A is equals to VA. Okay, so here and here and here the potential will be VA because there is no resistance present between these points. So there is no potential difference. Okay, and here the potential we have taken to be VB. So here will be VB and here also it will be VB. Okay, now we can see that the potential difference across this 30 ohm, this 30 ohm and this 30 ohm is equals to VA minus VB. That means these three resistance are in parallel combination. Okay, so the equivalent for parallel combination is given by 1 upon R equivalent is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. Okay. Now the value of R1, R2 and R3 is equal here that is 30 ohm. So let us put it here. So we have 1 divided by 30 plus 1 divided by 30 plus 1 divided by 30. So it will be equals to 3 times of 1 divided by 30 that is 3 divided by 30. So from this we have the value of R equivalent is equals to 30 divided by 3 and it is equals to 10 ohm. Okay. That means the equivalent of this combination is 10 ohm. Okay. Now for finding the potential between A and B, we have to find the current through the circuit. Okay. Let us draw the simpler circuit here. So in simpler circuit, we have the equivalent resistance between A and B is equals to 10 ohm that we have calculated before. Okay. So it is point B this is point A and afterwards there is a resistance of 15 ohm okay this is 10 ohm and here we have a battery that have potential of 3 volt and its internal resistance is also given that is equals to 5 ohm okay now we have to find the current through this circuit which is given by I okay now we have ohms law which is given by V equals to I into R. Okay, so for that we have to find the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So here we can see that these three resistance are in series combination. That means their R equivalent is given by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, so it will be 10 plus 15 plus 5. So it is equals to 30 ohm. Okay, so the value of I is given by V divided by R equivalent. Okay. V here is that is potential difference is equals to 3 volt divided by R equivalent is equals to 30 volt. Okay. So from this we will get the value of I equals to 0.1 ampere. Okay. Now this current of 0.1 ampere is also flowing through this resistance of 10 ohm. Okay. That means the potential drop across this resistance will be the potential difference between points A and B. Okay, so potential drop across resistance 10 ohm will be given by I that is current into resistance. Okay, so it is 0 0.1 into 10 and it will be equals to 1 volt. Okay, so this is the potential drop across 10 ohm resistance and it will be equals to the potential difference between points A and B. So 1 volt that is option C will be our correct answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.